The light in this problem is initially unpolarized, and it passes through a system of two polarizers. We're asked to find the intensity after the second one. If the intensity at the beginning is I0, that's 43 watts per meter squared, then after passing through the first polarizer, half of it will remain. When unpolarized light passes through a polarizer, half of the intensity remains and the light becomes polarized along the direction of the polarizer. So it's now polarized along theta 1. And then it passes through the second polarizer, rotated an additional angle of 20 degrees from 70 to 90. The intensity that passes through that one will be I1, the incoming intensity, times cosine squared of the angle between the polarized axis and the axis of the new polarizer. That's theta 2 minus theta 1, or 20 degrees. So we find that after the second polarizer, the light will be polarized along the direction of theta 2 and have an intensity of 19 watts per square meter.